Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I just want to give uh, everyone an update about the 30 days challenge. Uh, we are a little bit out of line on on the schedule. Okay, uh, simply I've got uh, so much workload uh, going on uh, recently. Okay, but we are, we are going to finish this. But it doesn't mean, you know, we're going to do daily stuff. But, you know, uh, we will try to finish uh, what was, you know, planned. Okay, um, for, for those who the first time being in my channel okay my name is Jason and I do tutorials around WebRTC okay um, have you, if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribe my channel uh, you will see a lot more you know WebRTC tutorials as we go all right for those who's been here uh, welcome back and I'd like to apologize we went a bit yeah a little bit out of line uh, with our schedule uh, here's our schedule here uh, we should have been you know done our flutter by now but uh, I haven't posted anything the past two or three weeks. So I just like to give everyone a heads up, okay? Uh, we're still going to do this, but uh, we probably have to spread all this stuff out, okay? First thing, uh, we're going to like look into this uh, right probably in the next few days. Okay, I changed my idea a little bit because originally we're going to do the full stack with uh, Dart, but um, like honestly, uh, I've been, I have actually wrote, written the server I really don't see the point using Dart as our server side. Okay, nothing against Dart. It's a great language. As far as server side, I would probably use Golang instead. Okay, so I have decided we're going to switch out the Dart as our server. We're going to write a Golang server, uh, a P2P mini to mini mesh uh, application, like a full-on application with Flutter as our, as our front end. Okay, with Flutter, we're going to do uh, the multi... Uh, what do you call it, um, client, okay, we're going to compile a web, a mobile app, uh, both Android and iOS, and also a desktop app, okay, so it's fully compatible, so we can have all these with just one code base, okay, that's still cool, okay, so we, this is probably going to take uh, like five or six videos, <clears throat> okay, and then we will move on to, uh, you know, streaming a video like a like a MP4 or whatever, you know, uh, to our WebRTC, uh, that will be a simple one, uh, it will probably be just one video. And we're going to show you a little tip how you can choose your, um, what do you call it, media source, you know, on your computer, you could have two webcams or two microphones, <clears throat> then I will show you how to, you know, like pick the right one and stream it that way. Okay, and then we will move on to the whiteboard streaming, okay, so you can draw stuff and share that as your media. Uh, I don't know about this one, uh, video chat app with uh, Simple Peer. I don't know if there's any point, but uh, please leave me comments down below if you want to see that. Okay, for those who doesn't know what Simple Peer is, it's basically, um, it's a library that writes uh, all the signaling for you. Okay, that's what, what it is. Okay, uh, but anyway, I think I've shown you how to do that yourself uh, from scratch. So maybe we scratch that, but leave me a, a note on a comment. And this Golang signaling server, we will, we will be covering with our next uh, series, which is the Flutter. So that will go. Okay, let me delete that. Um, this is basically like, you know, heads up of what's coming up. So, you know, uh, ignore the dates. Okay, they could come in randomly, but I'll try to do at least two a week. Okay, then that way we'll keep our, you know, all the followers happy on that one. And, you know, there's a reason to follow me, in other words. And React Native soon clone. Not sure about that one. Okay, leave me comments on that on PeerJS. PeerJS is set, uh, really similar to um, this one here. Simple Peer. They uh, pr practically the same thing. Don't see the point really because I've already shown you how to do that yourself. So leave me a comment on that one as well. Uh, okay, Socket IO. I don't know if you, if you want to see that. Uh, honestly, I don't see the point either because we're writing. I've shown you how to write in Node.js already, how you write your own root sockets. And I'm about to show you how to write that in Golang as well. So I don't know, leave me a comment if you want to see this, okay? I'm happy to do them, but as long as, you know, everyone, everyone you know, is one, that's what you want to see. Okay, and then we're up to this one too many broadcasts. Uh, this one, maybe I will do that one, okay, because what, this is I will show you how to do that with Pion okay you can write your own stuff without using any third-party stuff you can write that straight from Pion uh, basically you're writing your own um, folding um, thing I've done the code for this already actually um, so 
maybe we'll do that so you get to know a little bit more about Pion. And writing your own SFU in Pion, okay? Uh, leave me a note on that one if you want to see that because we can actually write our own uh, SFU, okay, with Pion as well. And I think uh, this one here, stream to Twitch with Pion. Uh, leave me a note if you want to see that. And also, I uh, feel you're more than welcome, you know, to drop what you want to see, um, you know, down the, the, the comments, okay? Because I'd rather do something like everybody want to learn rather than me doing them and no, nobody watches them. And also, you can consider join my Slack channel and we can, you know, communicate there. You know, you can tell me what you want to learn. If I can do them, then I am more than happy to do them. All right, so that's pretty much of the purpose of this video. So giving everybody a heads up, uh, I am... Uh, dedicated still to do videos tutorials for this channel but i've just been flat out so that's why there hasn't been anything happening in the past two and a half weeks uh once again apologize and yeah leave me some comments down below and give me some ideas you know what's going forward for sure we'll start off uh, the flutter app because i think everybody want to learn flutter these days and a good choice to go with it uh, is definitely golang okay um as you know everybody know uh, Golang has come a long way, you know, the last couple of years and uh, it gained a lot of popularity uh, because simply it's really easy to invent, reinvent the real, you know, that, that's how I say it. Uh, it's a lot easier than any other language you uh, available on the market, okay? So, yeah, so um, that's pretty much it. So it's, uh, it's basically a more of a catch-up video, you know, like telling you what's going on and I will, you know, continue do more great videos and yeah let me know what you want to learn then that way we have better quality you know between us okay and for those who hasn't subscribed please consider subscribe and uh, many more uh, WebRTC related um, tutorials will be coming all right thanks very much and also one more thing uh, if you consider to uh, support the channel uh, these are patreon uh, link in the corner or, or, or under the descriptions and yeah if you uh, feel free to sponsor me so I can do do more, you know, better, um, what do you call it, contents. And I don't have to charge for source code if I get some kind of, uh, you know, income from this channel. And I'm sorry, I apologize to people that are expecting getting the source code for free. I would like to do that, but hey, I'm doing all this for free. So, and I try to recover some of my time, you know, by charging a little, uh, not little, some of them, but... Um, some income you know from the source code that's the reason okay apologize if you're against that but hey you know i have to get paid somehow so all right uh thanks for the time and we'll hopefully catch up within you know a couple of days thank you